What's up, YouTube? I'm Z, and this channel shows you the world through my lens. So, uh, as I'm sure we can probably tell, um, I'm not in my studio, uh, and I'm not using my regular recording setup. <clears throat> I uh, had a bit of an issue tonight where um, the house, my uncle's house, where I normally record, was uh, actually locked because they're doing some work on the garage. So normally how I get in this late... Uh, during the day when I was working there in the mornings, it wasn't a problem because everybody was like there so I could get in, no problem. But um, lately what's been happening is I like, I have uh, access to the garage. So I open the garage door and then I walk in through the garage door, which they were leaving unlocked for me. However, with their garage doors being worked on, they locked their main door and uh, I arrived at their house a little after 11 p.m., which most, I guess, normal people, not me. Uh, are going to be asleep. So uh, I sent some messages to my cousins who I figured were like younger than me and might be awake, but uh, didn't work out. So I waited like 15, 20 minutes and realized I wasn't going to get in and came home. Uh, I'm home. I've had some food. I've relaxed a little bit. And uh, seeing as I wasn't going to be able to put out any videos, I thought I'd try something different and uh, record something off of my phone. <clears throat> it's a little bit weird doing it this way because like you see where my eyes are now? That's the screen where I can see myself. But over here, where I'm looking right now, is where the actual camera is. So I feel like I'm trying really hard not to look at myself and look there. But it's going to be messed up, guys. Um, I'm hopped up on my pre-workout. Because normally I would use that to uh, make it through my, you know, three, four, or five hours of, of recording and editing. Um, so I'm not going to be able to sleep for a little bit. Um, so I thought I'd make this quick video and give you guys an update for the July albums. Now, June <clears throat> didn't go uh, as well as I'd hoped. I got about halfway through the list of my June albums. Uh, so very simply, anything that you were looking forward to on that June album list that didn't happen, um, it's going to be added to the July list. And then I have like three or four additional that I'll do in July. So the list that I'm going to read out to you guys is a little bit more um, conservative than the June list because I'm disappointed in myself that I wasn't able to finish it. Um, so I wanted to give myself a slightly more achievable target. And then if I can beat it and do more and do extra, awesome, I will do more. Um, just so you guys know a little bit of why June fell apart, uh, my granddad... Um, his doctor said that, uh, basically he needed to get a pacemaker installed. My granddad is 86 years old. Uh, pacemakers, I mean, this is a fairly common thing that happens. It's, it's not like a super crazy thing. However, at his age, at 86, plus his history of, uh, all of his other medical stuff, it was obviously a little bit more high risk. Um, but you know, fortunately, we're on the other side of that. He's doing better. He's recovering well. He's got, like, bad bruising, actually. It's kind of scary to look at, but uh, he's doing much better. So <clears throat> that's good. That was something that pulled me away a little bit. Uh, and my wife with her, so, you know, as you guys know, she she's pregnant. We are 30 weeks. So home stretch, we got 10 weeks left uh, for, for full term, I guess. And... Um, yeah, basically our doctor is like moving hospitals now. <laughs> so as we're like on the last stretch, so we're like, we don't want to change doctors because, you know, we've been with this doctor and she knows us and we know her and we like her. Uh, but that also means that we have to now go to a different hospital. So there was a few extra like visits to the hospital, which also usually messes up my schedule. Um, I actually have another one another doctor's appointment that we have to go to Wednesday night or Wednesday morning, sorry, where we're going to check out the new, new hospital. So anyways, guys, this is a long intro. Uh, definitely feel free to skip past all of this, but I just wanted to give you guys some like background on what's going on. Uh, so yeah, I just ate my food. Uh, and now I have my bowl of fruit to finish off my, my meals for the day. Um, maybe I can turn this around. I don't know if you guys can see this stuff, but there's my bowl. My son's baby monitor, my bowl of fruit. 
Uh, and yes, I am gonna game a little bit. This is very rare because I typically have zero time. So I'm getting a chance to jump on. Um, I figured since I'm gonna have a hard time sleeping right now with um, the uh, pre-workout that I might as well, I guess, enjoy myself a little bit. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this down. Probably have to talk a little bit louder. Let me see if I can set it down here, what happens? Uh, oh, that's not bad. A little less high tech than the uh, June album list because again, I don't have my computer, I don't have any of my stuff. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and read through the list. Um, and if I have any comments to make on any of the stuff, then I'll, I'll definitely make sure to make those comments. Um, the first eight or nine, uh, and just so you guys know, in June, we did manage to do nine albums. So the first eight or nine here are the eight or nine that we didn't do in June, starting with uh, Young Boy, Nobody Safe. And those of you that uh, were waiting for some Young Boy reactions, I Don't Talk is done. I really like the song. However, uh, it got blocked, so I'm just in the process right now to get it unblocked. So hopefully in the next day or two, uh, I should have that to you guys. Um, and 86 Prayers. So as soon as I get a chance to get back into the studio, I was going to record that tonight. But uh, obviously, that didn't happen. So uh, 86 Prayers, <clears throat> I will be doing that as soon as I um, get a chance to get it. Number two, we have Destiny's Child, Writing on the Wall, Writings on the Wall. Is it Writings or Writing? I'm not sure. Um, I really enjoyed checking out their opening album, Destiny's Child, the self-titled. It was uh, very nostalgic in terms of the sound, so I, I liked that. I had a good time. Uh, I had some criticisms which I gave in the album itself, in the album reaction. So definitely check that out if you haven't. But uh, Writings on the Wall, definitely getting to that one. That's their second album. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, as I mentioned, uh, obviously with the beef and everything that went down, so many people were hyping up his Mr. Morale album. And uh, I felt that if people were talking so highly of it, then I need to check it out. So uh, that is still happening in a very big way, <clears throat> Mr. Morale by Kendrick. Um, my UK artists, uh, I had two that I needed to do, didn't do either of them. Uh, but, but we're going to get those done as well. We have Getz, On Purpose, With Purpose. Absolutely love Getz. Avellino, Absolute Lyrical Monster, God Save the Streets. We're going to check that out as well. Um, the next one on the list, Easy Mill. We checked out Act 1, so we managed to do that in June. And it was phenomenal. I mean, it, it blew me away. Um, and it... I don't know what my expectations were going into it. But it definitely exceeded those because I didn't know that he had the genre range that he has. Uh, so that was a very big surprise for me and, and I really enjoyed seeing his, seeing him kind of flex uh, that range, especially considering that like this was like his opening album. So it was really cool for him to show that, right? Uh, then we have Meg The Stallion, I Promise To Do Traumazine. Uh, so definitely going to get to that. Uh, a Boogie, told you guys I'm very excited to do another album from him. So that's going to be Artist 2.0. Again, that was going to be a June one. We didn't get to it. Uh, the last June one is Taylor Swift, the Tortured Poets Department. Or I think that's what it's called. So I will do that one this month as well. Um, then I added four other albums. <clears throat> The first one is actually a question mark. Uh, I would love for you guys to comment down below and help me pick whichever comment uh, is either the most frequently repeated or has the most likes or support on it is the one that I will decide to do. Uh, but the artist is going to be Lil Durk. I know he's got the Hollywood album. I don't think it's coming out in July though. So let's do something, something like from his past, an older album. Um, but I'm having a hard time deciding which one and I don't have my original June list with me, so I can't remember which one I said if I said one. So either repeat that one if you thought that was a good choice or mention the album you would prefer for me to check out uh, for July for Lil Durk down below, okay? 
this one, a bunch of people commented. They were like, no, I can't believe you're not doing a little TJ. We're going to do a little TJ. You guys know how much I enjoyed uh, his albums. So we're going to do a little TJ, Destined to Win, which I believe was his middle album. And I think it's the only one <clears throat> from him that I haven't heard. So we're going to check that out for sure. Uh, this is another one that a lot of people have been commenting and a lot of people would like repeat comment. So I see this as well. And I actually really wanted to do this too. So I'm glad that you commented it. Uh, this is going to be Kevin Gates. The I believe the first one is just called the Luca Brasi story. And then he has a Luca Brasi too. And so, so we're definitely going to try to do the first one. Um, we're gonna do the first one. I'm gonna I'm gonna put positivity out into the world. We're gonna do all 13 of these on my list. I have 13 on my list. We're gonna do them all. So Kevin Gates, Luca Brasi. I've only really checked out um, songs where he is the feature artist, and I feel like he's killed like literally every feature that that I've heard him on. So I'm very excited to uh, listen to a project from him. This last one, I am extremely excited about. We don't have an exact date, but uh, I believe Death of Slim Shady, the the new Eminem album that is coming out, is due to come out this month in July. So I am like extremely excited about this one. I cannot wait. Uh, and, and as soon as it comes out, I'm sorry to any of the other albums, but if that day I was planning on recording that album and Eminem drops, your album's getting pushed a few days because I'm doing that one right away. You guys know I'm a big fan. I always talk about it. I have to do it, okay? Um, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. So uh, in June, I think I promised like 15 to 17, something like that. I don't remember the exact number. Um, I think it was like 17 maybe. And this month in July, I'm promising 13 because I feel a lot more confident doing this. Um, I have an editor that's helping me now for this month. So sometimes I can record and if it's like really late, I can just upload it to like Google Drive, let him edit it and I myself can go home and sleep so that the next day it's ready for upload. So I, I've set myself up in ways where I can be more successful this month uh, and I'm excited to see how that works out, right? Um, is there anything else for me to say? No. So, unfortunately, guys, there's going to be a couple light days, as I mentioned. Um, today, I, I just literally got locked out, couldn't go into the studio. Tomorrow, I won't be able to record because I am uh, taking my wife to my grandfather's house um, because he lives really close to the hospital. And then... Uh, we're gonna sleep over, that way we get to see him, spend some time with him, and then Wednesday morning, I'm gonna take her to the hospital for her appointment. So I'm gonna lose two days this week, uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, coming up, to make up for it, and that way it'll kinda balance out. Yeah. Cool, I don't know, I guess there's not really anything else to say. I got my fruit here. I'm gonna, gonna eat some fruit and uh, get rocked on uh, Call of Duty. I am gonna post this right now, so if any of you happen to be uh, playing Call of Duty this afternoon, let me know. Although our connection will be really bad because I, I, I'm in the Middle East, so we'll be on like the wrong servers, especially if you live in the States, right? But I mean, we could still try. So definitely comment, let me know. Um, that's it, guys. If you're still here, I appreciate you spending your time with me. I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you next time.